Introducing Pretty Pencils, a complete sketching, drawing, and learning studio for artists and beginners alike. It's a complete collection of dry media brushes, pattern brushes, image and texture stamps, canvases, subtle papers, practice guides, and layered lessons to help you achieve fine art professional results in your projects. This isn't just your regular toolkit, it's packed full of learning material to help you achieve your best outcomes yet. Follow along step by step with four layered lessons to see how to create from beginning to end. You'll be able to go through each drawing, dissecting it layer by layer to see how it was constructed, giving you the knowledge and confidence to do the same thing. Then follow along with me in a video tutorial where you'll get a tour of the full pack and see how to create this bear on a bike. And lastly, enjoy practicing with your pretty pencils and 15 practice guides to improve your skills and have fun. You'll fall in love with the dry media brushes, pencils, charcoals, and crayons that were made by using real life media to create these realistic digital brushes that look and feel like the real thing. Hand drawn image stamps that will help jumpstart your drawing and trigger your imagination, bringing your creative ideas to life quickly and easily. Pattern brushes will quickly add something special to save you so much time. Subtle texture papers will add that extra element of depth and dimension to your projects. Three incredible canvases will simply transform your drawings to look and feel just like the real thing. And lastly, color palettes that are all the same colorways that I used to paint all the examples found in the previews, as well as a few more that will help you easily recreate your favorite examples. Once you dive into this huge toolkit, you'll have everything you need to create the masterpieces you've always dreamed of. Happy creating! Anyways, let's get to it. We're gonna draw this little bear and this little doggy today. And first we're gonna start by importing all our materials. So if you're in your gallery, you're gonna to go to import. So you're gonna to navigate to where you downloaded this pack. If you're struggling with that, go back to the PDF of where you found this video and there will be some instructions on how to download and import your product here. So we'll just go through it. So mine is on my Dropbox, yours will probably be in your downloads. So then you're gonna go and find, of course today we're using Procreate. If you're using Photoshop or Affinity, obviously go into those folders. And so we'll go into Procreate canvases and I'm gonna find um, Pretty Pencil Canvas 1 large. If you don't have a lot of space on your iPad, then do choose the small one. Just note that the sizes of brushes that I will be saying that I'm using, the brush size will differ. So just, just note that. But today we'll use the large one. I like creating my art as big as possible, so I will try the large one. All right, and once it's imported, we're just gonna open that up. Next, we'll go and get our brushes. So if you go to your brushes here and you go to the plus sign and then go import. So navigate to where you have them, find Procreate, find the brushes, and then you'll just tap on these to install the brushes. So they come in three sets, just the pencils. So those are all your drawing media, stamps and patterns. So you'll just insert the, so you'll install all three of these. You just tap on them and then they will import and you'll find them at the top of your list here. So you can see that I have all the pencils and all the charcoals and hatchers and whatnot. And then I've got the stamps and then I have the pattern. Once you have all those three installed, we'll go and grab our swatches. So how you do this, go to the palettes, hit the plus sign, new from file, and navigate to where you have them, go into Procreate, find the swatches. And then you can import all the swatches here. So today we'll be using the bear on the bike so you can install that. So once you have them, those often do show up at the bottom of your list. So if you can't see them, do scroll down all the way to the end. So I'm just gonna set this one as default here, bear on the bike, because I like to work in the classic mode. That's my favorite mode here. So we'll be using this color palette. And last but not least, let's go get our guide. So let's go to the wrench, go to insert file, Again, navigate to where you have them. The guides are going to be outside of the Affinity Photoshop and Procreate folder, so just go back and find the drawing guides. And then we're going to import bear on bike. That practice. Okay, so we've imported him. 
So before we get started, I'm just going to show you how to use the image stamp because some of these little parts of this drawing are included in your image stamps. So let me just show you quickly how to use those before we get to this. So if I just go create a new layer, and I'll just turn this off for now, uh, create a new layer, and then I'm going to go to my pretty pencil stamps. And you'll see there's loads of stamps you can use to create your own original designs. So you can use these and um, create cute little, little pictures. So you know, here you are, here's your dog. Then you can go create a new layer. This is the important part with using stamps so that you can move them around independently. So create a new layer. And let's go, what else do we use for this picture? We used, there's a little bike. So you can just change the size and then you can use your arrow to scale this up and down. There's the bike, so you can move that. And you could flip it, it could go the other way. And then I also used, it was like a little skirt or a collar. You can use it for either or. Tap and you can use it for a little skirt. You could put that on the dog. You could do whatever you wanted with it and create a totally different picture using all these stamps. Okay, so let's just get rid of those and go back to what we are working on today. So here's our bear. I'm just gonna size him down just a little bit. Then I'm also going to turn this to multiply. So if you tap on the N, this was an N. So if you tap on the N, you can just slide here and go to multiply. That means we'll be able to see beneath it. So, and I can change the layer opacity as well. So let's just turn that down. Then I'm gonna create a new layer by hitting that plus sign and then holding and dragging. If I can grab it, hold, <laughs> if it wants to work. Hold and drag and put that below. So all our layers will be below this. All right, next, let's go and grab, let's say this dark brown here. Go back to our brushes and grab the pretty pencils. And I'm gonna use the Dusty Sketcher for this one. So this is kind of a fun brush. It gives you all this sort of nice gritty business going on while we're lining our work. So I'm just gonna start by lining that bear and just being, you know me, kind of loose and sketchy about it. Just, we're not gonna be, this is meant to be just soft and scratchy and not all perfect, right? Just have fun with this. We're just gonna quickly give him an outline you can color his nose in a little bit, maybe. I want it to be a little childish. A little fun, maybe you can just sort of, you know, sketch in a little shadow there. Can you see your, the pressure of your pen to create, see how it goes thick and thin and light and soft, just to create a little a little bit of variety to your lines. So for the fur, just pick it up, be scratchy. There, makes it cute, gives it a little personality. Maybe I don't want them to overlap here, I just might erase that little mistake there, but okay. So our bear is all outlined, easy peasy. While we're here, let's just outline the little dog. Well, he's the same color too. A little color in his nose. My pen, by the way, is at about 11%. I didn't mention that at the beginning. I'm going to switch to my sketching pencil hard and I'm just going to color in this eye. I just wanted that a little bit crisper. Maybe just sketch around a little bit too, kind of like that. I'm gonna shade in this line a bit, sort of using the side of my pencil a little bit, especially with sketching pencils or like crayons or um, color pencil, you're kind of going for that feel. I often use the side of my brush quite a bit and you can see it gives it that nice, sort of nubbly soft sort of, I don't know. Well, it looks like a pencil, right? So that's what we're going for. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go back to my dusty sketcher Let's go and grab a new color. I'm gonna um, get this sort of a little bit of a lighter brown here. Just a 
for a little bit of variety. Just kind of line this in. Just kind of do it a bit quickly. We don't have to be too precious about this. Maybe it's a box here. We can do it this color as well. Okay. And there. Lovely. While we're here, while we're looking at the box, I'm going to go back to my sketching pencil hard. I'm just going to create a few little lines that look like, make it look like wood a little bit. Maybe do a little bit of a pattern. Bring that in like so. Just give it a little, all these little extra details kind of make the difference. Perfect. Okay, on to the collar here. We're just gonna grab this dark purple and I'm going to go back to the Dusty Sketcher. All our main lines are, are done with the same, same pencil for the most part. Just for this look, it's not, again, it's not a rule or anything. It's just what we're doing for this drawing. All right, and for this, just sort of creating those creases, just where it sort of dips, where we've sort of created those lines there. Making it look like the folds of a little shape, a little volume. Great. While we're on our purple, let's just make these little pom-pom thingies on his hat. Just gonna make them a little bit more interesting than basic circles. And look a little fluffy. Just with curved dash lines. To balance this, because we have the purple here, I'm going to put some purple here. Give him his little hat. And we're going to make the skateboard purple as well. It's a nice way to balance out the composition. Just using a fairly simple color palette, color scheme here. All right. Now, lastly, let's get this dark um, burnt umber sort of color and we will bring in the yellow. So we have a contrasting color scheme opposite on the color wheel, very complimentary. So we're gonna do the yellow there and we'll have the yellow here and the bike seat will be yellow as well. So we'll have that come in Those are the little dots here little polka dots. Let's see, what else do we have to outline? I think we just have the black. Oh, you know what? I forgot this little purple wheel here, or the petal rather. So we'll do that in purple. Lastly, eh, we'll do this purple too. Just get that. Okay. Lastly, just the bike um, wheels. I'm gonna use this really dark, almost black color here. So let's just these wheels. All right, and then back to our sketching pencil hard. And let's just do these folks a little bit more, a little bit more Christmas. Sort of there, touch clear. And our little, little string. Lovely. Oh, and I'll go back and get my dusty sketcher. Let's finish up these wheels here. Okay, so we have all our line work done. Brilliant. Oh, I forgot his little eye here. Let's just get that. Maybe that's a little messy. Let's go and get the sketching hard pencil and just fill in his little eye. There. Lovely. Okay, so we can turn off our guide. And now we have that lovely masterpiece. So <laughs> let's... um go to the coloring in part and get all the texture going and have fun with that. So let's create a new layer and bring that below. Again, just hold and drag. And then we're going to color in with, we're gonna start with this sort of, eh, this medium lighter brown. I'm gonna to go to the filling pencils and I'm gonna grab this sketchy filler pencil. Looks like this. It's really nice, got a little sketchy effect. And again, with our canvas, we're getting that those rich textures and just doing the work for us. 
So I'm just gonna go and literally just color in nothing much to it more than that. <laughs> just fill it in, be as messy as you want. Have a little overlap, have a little bits of white showing through if you want, that adds, adds to it. Whatever your style is. Okay, easy peasy, right? <laughs> All right, let's get a lighter gray color, sort of a taupey gray color for the box. We'll color that in, same thing. Actually, with this, I'm going to have to be a little bit more particular because I want the slats showing through a little bit. So let's have a smaller brush. Let's color that on in. Then let's go and color his little ear. And we can use this color again here. Oops. For his little ear. So he'll be white with just his little brown ears. Cute. Okay, let's go and color in the purple. So I'm just gonna select this sort of the brightest, cheeriest purple that's in there. And we'll just color in. Just make sure that your brush is small enough. Mine's at about oop, 2% just to get in here. And this little hat. And let's do the ribbon, this collar here. All right, and these little pom poms we'll use this color for. Let's go and get this, uh, the purple right beside it, just for a little variation. We'll have something a little bit darker on these pedal, or on these wheels, on the pedal. And then for the collar, let's go and get this purple here. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit bigger. It's about 6% or so. And then let's go and get this sort of this orangey color. Okay, and then I'm gonna make this handle orange, the seat orange. These little middle parts of the wheels, little polka dots. So you can see how that really balances out the color, how we're sort of just alternating, having the little touches show up. All right, let's go back to this color here, this creamy color, and we'll fill in the rest of the bike. So again, having that still in line with that orange color. Just fill that in and then we'll go and get let's see this sort of gray color that's going to be dark enough probably not actually maybe this color down here this gray that's better and we'll just fill in our wheels lovely and then i'm going to just grab sort of a lighter brownie gray color Let's go and grab our sketching pencil hard. Just for this more finer detail, we can just scratch that on in there. Mm 
Okay, oh, we forgot our, the rest of our wheels. So I'm gonna go back to that gray color and back to my sketchy filler pencil and just do the dog's wheels here. Now let's grab this lighter beige color and just go over top here. Let's go back to a bit bigger pencil, maybe about four, and just have a different color for his little muzzle here. I'm just going to grab that brown again. I'm just going to fill this in. I, I just left a little, a little bit too much white. I don't mind it some places, but that was a little bit, a little bit much, I think. It's just a few spots where it wasn't making sense. Okay, so then let's just start doing some details. I'm going to create a new layer on top of my fill layer here and then grab this really, you know what, this peachy color will probably be best. Let's go um, to the soft charcoal in your charcoal area here and just bring this down a little bit. And let's just see. Oh, no, maybe you want to be up around 50. Just be really light. And then what I'm going to do, if you want it even softer, give these blenders a try, or sorry, these smudgers a try. This fluffy blender is nice. It just really softens that out a bit. If you have any hard edges, you can really just blend away. And then I'm going to maybe create a few highlights. So let's go back to, let's see, let's do the fine charcoal just for finer details here. Um, I'm just going to give them a little bit of a highlight here. Just scratch it in just a touch, particularly like maybe on the nose. Although I'd have to go, I have to bring this layer above my sketching layer if I'm gonna go on top of that, right? So if you wanna go and put it on top of where we sketch this in, you'd have to do that. Maybe a little highlight on the eye. If you like that. Maybe a little bit on the tip of the ear. We can, yeah, with this color maybe, let's just have a nice big brush and just sort of sketch a little bit of a highlight in here. I'm gonna actually go on the side of my pencil. I think that's just gonna, yeah, create that sort of texture I want there. A Little bit on the handle. And then a little bit here on the pedal. Just Everywhere just to add those little extra bits. Not too much, just a little. Okay, maybe on the tip of his hand here. Just a little hint. I'm not sure that you can see that. Okay, lovely. Now let's go on and shade him using the hatcher. So I'm gonna go back to this layer here, my fill layer, create a new layer on top of that. I'm gonna to go to, I think this brown, we'll give that one a try, and go all the way down here to our cross hatchers. I'm gonna use a soft hatcher. Now you can see what this does. We're gonna change the sizes of it. Let's see what I want, something kind of big like that. So that's at size about 45, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to, now you can see how this gets really messy because it's all over the place. So this layer here that we have on top of the fill layer, I'm gonna tap on it and say clipping mask. So whatever we draw in here is going to attach to this layer below, so it won't go outside. So you can see it just tucks in there nicely. So I'm not gonna go too aggressive, like back and forth, because that's gonna make it really dark just going to do it like one swipe for the most part all the way down we just really light pressure just on the edges just to blend that in a touch we put some in the front there on the back of his neck yeah perfect okay so that's good then I'm going to create another layer I'm going to tap on the fill layer and then if I just create a new a new layer, it'll automatically become a clipping mask because you have the one on the top. So it's just a simple way of doing that. With the same color, I'm gonna go and find my soft textured pencil. It looks, it's got some nice texture to it all by itself. So I'm gonna use this to do some of this more detailed 
sort of extra um, shadows here. You know what, this color is looking a little bit too dark for me, so I'm going to just maybe bring this warmer brown. Yeah, so I'm gonna go up to about size 18. I'm just being really light with my pressure. Um, you know what, scratch that. Maybe go down to size eight, just get in there. I was kind of going overboard a little bit too much in that. I was creating shadows on parts I didn't want. <laughs> so we're just gonna shadow shade in that. Maybe under the arm, maybe we can go a little bit bigger now. Now we can go to 18, just can be really light. Maybe a little bit more shadows in here. We can just add a little extra in some areas. Wherever you think is best, wherever it needs a little, a little bit more. Then we can go and erase it if it's gone Oh, we, our hatcher here, we can go and erase if it's gone overboard a little bit too much. I don't really want it there on the seat, just on the bear. Next, um, let's see, let's do our pattern on our skirt here. So we can create a new layer again. So I'll hit that, um, I'll tap on the solid fill layer and I'll just create a new layer. Again, it'll become a clipping mask. Let's go find our patterns here. So I'm just going to go all the way to the top and find, let's see, I think this one will use that. Let's give that a try. Go and grab the quite light pink here. And so it really does simply just put in that pattern. Okay, so actually I'm going to show you something about patterns because I know a lot of you will be wondering how to change the size because when we change the size, it only changes the size of the brush. You can see the pattern is still the same, right? So norm sometimes the question is, how do I change the actual size of the pattern? Super simple, but it just don't be afraid of it because it is going into the behind the scenes of how brushes are made kind of a thing. So if you just tap on the brush, you go into the brush studio. Okay, so if you go down to shape, that's the shape and size of the actual brush. The grain is the pattern, okay? So if you go on grain and you see scale here, right now it's at 26, so we can make it bigger or smaller so you can see how it's changing here. Okay, so if you want it a little bit smaller, you can go to 20, we can go to whatever you want, but let's go to 20 and we can say done. And then you can go and do that. Okay, so I think it needs to be a hair bigger than that for us. So we can just go to maybe 23 now don't be afraid if you make a mistake because you've adjusted something on your brushes, all you have to do is go to the about this brush and say reset brush. Don't push create new reset point because then it will save your changes. But if you wanna go back to the original, you just say reset and now we're back to how it was originally. So don't panic, <laughs> don't worry. You can always reset it without having to reinstall. Okay, so see we're back to 26. I think we need to be at about 23. So let's just do that. And then we can go and paint this. Now we're gonna to have to do a little bit of erasing here because we have all of our colors on one layer, our solid fill on one layer, but that's okay. Easily done. So we'll just grab our eraser and just make sure it's nice and small and just go in and fix any areas where we might've gone a little bit over easy pattern, right? Like that was too simple. So <laughs> nice having these little brushes, but just make your life a little bit easier. So I've created a new layer on top of my dots. Okay. This is important because we're going to do some shading over top. So it doesn't look so flat. So let's just go and get this. Let's say maybe this purple here. And I'm going to go back to my pretty pencils. You know what? The soft texture pencil is working nicely for shadows. So let's keep on that. And maybe go down to eight and I'm just gonna very lightly go over just sort of where these dips and curves will be right let's see just be more shadow than there of course and that creates that now you can change the layer style here so we can tap on that and then change it and see if we like anything a little bit better. See multiply for shadows often works really nice. So you can see how, let's see if we can change it. So like that to that, 
See, it looks a little bit richer and you can still see the dots below, but you still know that the shadow's working. So I think I really like that. Okay, working well. Um, let's see, what else? What other little details do we have to do? Um, I would like to maybe under his chin, I can see, so I'm gonna go back to my shadow layer, go back to that, I think I had this warmer brown. I'm still on my soft texture pencil. I think just like under here needs a little, little work. I kind of forgot about that area. Maybe a little bit in his ear. Maybe behind the hat even a little bit. Kind of sitting that down. You just gotta keep keep looking, keep an eye on things. Maybe a little bit in here. I think maybe we can go to the cross hatching one and I think I was I think I did that one. Um, back to the cross hatching. I think I just need just that. It's a little bit big. I want a little bit smaller. A little bit of that texture there. There, nice and gritty. Okay. Don't have to do too much on the dog because it is quite simple. So I don't want to muddy it up too much. So I want it to at least read clear enough. So I think that's good. Okay, so let's create a nice little shadow underneath. So go down to your bottom layer, create a new layer. It's already gonna be a clipping mask. We don't want that. We just have to drag it below. So it's its own layer. We can be on maybe this brown here. I'm gonna to go to this dusty charcoal sketcher for this um, for the shadow. And let's just, let's just get some, I kinda of want this gritty bit to be here. See if I can't get it straight. Oh, I curve my pencil so much. <laughs> Just creating these little shadows below. Maybe showing that the you know ground is quite rough. Okay, so we'll start with that. And then I'm going to let's see. Do the soft texture filler. And let's let's just bring the opacity, the slider here, maybe to about 50%. Just be really light because you can always just build it up. And we can of course use our smudgers here, wherever they are, <laughs> our smudger, our fluffy blender. We just want to give a bit much, just be super light in any area. All right, so full disclosure, my light just went off and it won't go back on, so we'll just carry on. Sorry, the lighting's shifted a little bit. Anyways, let's finish up this little bit here, and I'm going to go back to my dusty charcoal sketcher and just, just lightly just give myself a little bit more... Just keep building on that. Okay, I think that's plenty. So let's go and create our background. So I'm just gonna create a new layer and drag that below. So it's our very last layer. I'm going to go and find this crackle background. So just select that. And then I'm just gonna bring it up quite big. I know this looks terrible right now, but bear with me. <laughs> It'll make sense in a minute. Actually, I'm going to make it so it doesn't go below, below here. So let's just kind of go like that. Okay. So I'm going to create a new layer on top and make it a clipping mask. So tap on that and say clipping mask. And then um, with this, I'm going to just go and get this uh, light purple here, that one there. And just color over it. And maybe bring in the yellow again. Let me bring that. And it still looks a little bit aggressive, right? <laughs> That's okay. So what I'm gonna do is just click on the N and bring that opacity down. And just make it a little bit more subtle. Maybe bring in some more pink. I'm just gonna, maybe actually this white, just, just be maybe opacity just down a little bit. Just soften some of the yellow areas there. Maybe this warm pink here. 
can just play with your opacity just like that. Okay, I like that. That's good. All right. And that's our little bear. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and found it really useful and were able to kind of see the brushes in action and have some ideas on how to create your own new work. So love you guys. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon in the next one. Take care.